All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We have another review for you, so say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powdered Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started. We have another one on loan to us from my buddy Big Red EDC, and it is another Monterey Bay knife. Uh, knife. So let's get started, guys. Uh, this is the Monterey Bay Knives Pincher, P-I-N-S-C-H-E-R. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they did have the min pin, and this is the full-size version of that now uh this particular one guys was bought at blade show west by big red and they had this awesome uh fat carbon red lava uh, uh whatever i'm trying to say inlay uh and you know we're we're not going to worry too much about that because these are only available in little batches here and there uh they they typically just have the full titanium ones and boy there is some milling in there very nice uh, very well done, and it appears that's on both sides. Yep, a oh, full pocket on, on the top of the lock bar. Look at that. Uh, so really, really cool. In this case, uh, you know, this is what I would call a clip point blade. They do call it a harpoon. I think that's interesting. This grind is really interesting. It's like a combination uh, grind. Seems uh, really, really slicey. You do have a sharpening choil here. And we'll talk a little bit more about this flipper tab in just a minute. Now, uh, this one is a Ray Laconico design. That's why you get that awesome logo there. And this one is ZDP 189. Now, so let's talk two things. The ones are currently available on their website are a full titanium, no inlay. And instead of ZDP 185, 185 it is, or 158. Wow. Am I saying that right? ZDP, no, 189. I was right the first time. Golly, confuse me by actually trying to read it and not being able to read it. Um, they are M390. Now, they are $215 on their site right now. Now, these are not a USA-made knife. This is made in China, uh, and that's all good. Now, you do have contouring on the scales, as you can see, which is super amazing. A typical Monterey Bay Knives uh, titanium milled pocket clip. You do have a titanium backspacer all the way around to the back there, and the Laconico logo, typical, uh, you know, basic pivot there, really, really nice. You do have quite a bit of milling on the inside, and guys, for size comparison, we will use the Mach 51, which I know is an 8-inch knife with a 4.5-inch handle and a 3.5-inch blade, so there you go. Uh, it seems about the same, so let's see what the specs say. Uh, they say that this is a 8-inch knife. Uh, with a three and a half inch blade and a four and a half inch handle. Hey, look at that. Uh, it is a 4.1 ounce knife made in China. It is titanium with a satin blade finish and designed by Ray Laconico. Uh, and it's 0.125 as far as the, the uh, blade stock, which is wonderfully good. Uh, really, really cool. Comes down at a really sharp angle. It's, it's uh, very, very nice on the grind. Nice and high. Uh, really, really dig it. Now, as far as uh, centering, dead on. As far as lockup, whoops, I'm on the bar. Uh, as far as lockup, 25 to 30%. You do have an over travel uh, stop there. Uh, and now this guy uh, really is an interesting flipper tab, guys. It's it's got kind of a pointy, pokey shape to it, but it doesn't stick out too far. So it it, it was fine in the pocket. Matter of fact, by the way, guys, Carries wonderfully in the pocket. This clip comes in and out really well with that ramp. Uh, and retention is good. Um, no problems. Nice and chamfered on the uh, lock bar cutout here. Okay. So uh, as far as um, how it comes out, very, very good on the, on the detent, guys. Uh, it is crisp on that detent. It, it, you might, some might call it because of this point, a little pokey. Uh, because it is... Um, again, a fairly tight detent, but man, if you just want this thing to just pop, that's what you got to do. And it's, it's good. Now you saw there, it is a dropper, uh, drop to your thumb, drop the rest of the way down. Really nice. And this guy is a cutter. Now, uh, lock bar access, there's no real cutout as far as on the scale, but there's a, uh, a relief cut here. You get in there really well. And that bar moves really easily. Now, uh, that would make me think maybe there's some lock rock or blade play. And there is not. There's none whatsoever. So it's just good geometry. I mean, it's just done really well. 
uh, but it moves really easy, as you can see, uh, and drops on down and just so well done. Screws are a little proud because, again, we have that contoured um, scale, and that's it. Two screws, two sets of screws here, and the pivot, and the uh, the pocket clip, of course. I'm not sure if that's tied into the, it might be tied into the back spacer, um, but really, really good. And again, uh, nice, crisp detent. Uh, keep your fingers off the lock bar, and it's 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 great. So um, really, really good. I love the swedging here. And uh, as far as ergos, goes, plenty of room left over. Nowhere to choke up, but you don't need it. Nice thumb ramp here. Very nicely done. Uh, no jimping. Don't need it, as you hear from me all the time. Uh, just love this. Now, you can get up here and choke up if you would like. Um, you know, and it's good. Just, just stay away from the edge. Uh, that actually works for me. Uh, and I've carried this quite a bit, and I've cut with it some. Uh, and it cuts really well. Now, remember the one online is M390, and this is ZD, ZDP189. Uh, but other than that, and the fact that the ones online right now don't have the inlay, uh, it's going to be roughly the same thing. I bet you, by the way, this one, let's just check, is a little bit lighter because of that inlay. Again, they say they're 4.1 ounces on the site. Uh, that's with full titanium. This guy is 3.95. Yep, that's about what I would have expected. Just a little bit lighter. Uh, not much, but just a little bit lighter because of this inlay here. Uh, really, really cool. Um, again, they are going to drop more of these from time to time. I saw some recently, blue and, and red. Uh, and I think I saw a green one. Um, really, really cool. Uh, but, you know, again, I, I can't speak to when those will be available and not available. I don't know. So really, really cool knife. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to have to figure out a way to get one of these. I still want a liner lock, old guard, and I'm going to work on that. But um, I might have to get one of these at some point as well. Just so well done. Um, and again, it's made overseas. It's not in in-house. A build, but that's okay. Uh, really, really well done. So thanks, JB, for sending this one along, guys. If you're not following Big Red EDC, what is wrong with you? You should be doing that. I will put it down in the description. Check him out. He is a buddy and a uh, really good dude, so check him out. And thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, you're already subscribed. And, guys, thanks ever so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.